Steward Little 2, I think released in 2003. This is one of those games you got in a cereal box and is based on the Steward Little 2 movie. This one contains five games to play. You can choose them in free mode or play through the story mode where Steward will be helping some duck thing. And he'll be looking for a diamond ring for his mom and he will be chased by pigeons. Kind of a weird plot overall, uh, told through animated cutscenes. Now this first game is Daredevil Driving and wow, is, is it ugly looking. You sway your car left and right trying to dodge pigeons and garbage and more pigeons dropping garbage on you from the sky. You just drive and dodge for a while until you get to the end of the level and I just can't get over the ugliness of everything and how everything is so out of scale. It's, it's just not a pleasant driving experience at all. In Drain Escape, you'll be wandering around in a sink maze. To open certain paths, you'll have to trigger a trigger thingy and use a plunger to remove giant pieces of broccoli. There's lots of insects you'll have to dodge who can hover, okay, but hey, so can I, I guess that's fair. And although it's not particularly fun, it's it's an alright maze game. It's got a bit of variety with the enemies and trigger thingies. It's, it's alright. Balloon Jump is simply Steward floating up on top of a building using balloons. The balloon deflates after a couple seconds, so you'll need to try and leap onto another balloon. If you miss, you can try to grab another balloon, but if you don't, poor little steward will fall to his doom. The level's full of pigeons to dodge and towels to dodge. And there's really not much to say about this one. It's very straightforward, but wow, this one was really fun. I really like this one. It's probably the one game worth playing on the bunch. Unfortunately, like the other games, it's very short, and that's too bad. If this one was multi-level, they probably could have sold this game on its own. It's just that good. Next we have Roof Skate, a rather clunky side skateboarding game where you collect plane parts. You'll be harassed by this pigeon who just seems bent on ending Steward's life once and for all. He's just obsessed. Now in games like this, stiff controls are a no-no. My biggest challenge shouldn't be that he's not responding fast enough to my inputs. But that's what's happening here. It's a really irritating experience. This one just sucks, that's all I can say. Finally, in Air Dodge, it's essentially a repeat of the first driving game, but you're in a plane, so you can move up and down. Now that crazy blue pigeon is back, and he has a devastating sit-on-your-plane move, which drains a lot of health. But besides that, you should be able to breeze through this one pretty easily. It's certainly better than that card game earlier, but still, it's really nothing special. The game also features a gallery to view images from the Steward Little 2 movie, and by beating levels of the game, you're awarded with certificates for your grand accomplishment. Yay! So overall, Steward Little 2 is not a very good collection of games. The worst thing is the controls don't feel very good in this game, and, and that's never good. And the games themselves aren't really interesting or fun. But that uh, balloon game, it, it probably was the highlight. It was kind of like the uh, cheese in the mouse maze. Uh, the one good point about this horrible and cruel experience. <sighs> anyway, there you have it, Steward Little 2. Thanks for watching. Jump. Air, 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 air